All right, I'm gonna be changing the oil on the Honda Navi. This is gonna be my first oil change. I have 609 miles on it. I went to the Honda dealership. They said not to worry about checking the valves. I will check them eventually, but if they're not concerned about it, neither am I, I guess. So, um, so I'm just gonna be changing the oil, cleaning that filter out. Uh, I'm gonna clean the filter with, uh, or the screen, I guess, with some brake clean. Just kind of shoot everything out of there. And I picked up the GN4 Honda 10W40 oil from the Honda dealership. And it looks like I'm just going to need a 12 millimeter socket and a 17 to get the screen out. And I just got a regular ratchet and a little extension for getting the screen bolt out. So let's go ahead and get this done. Oh, that bug was on there tight that guy off here should probably i'm gonna go get gloves three two one i bet it's gonna fill this whole thing up guys the whole thing i'm gonna give it a good old lean here ready there we go i should just prop that front tire up Do you guys ever have that issue whenever you're trying to do something in the garage and a fly is just to be on your shoulder, on your leg? Ugh, drives me nuts. All right, looks like it's pretty much done there, so I'm going to go ahead and put this bolt back in. Kind of wipe it off a little bit too here if I don't drop it in the oil pan. All right, this is a good time to grab your biggest breaker bar and just tighten it as tight as you can possibly get. If you need to kick on the breaker bar, Go ahead and lean all your weight and just kick down on it so that whoever has to change the oil next will never get it off and strip it out and hopefully have to tap it out and uh yeah hopefully it's just a complete nightmare for whoever's changing just make sure you sell your navi before you go ahead and do that uh next oil change you should be good to go all right hopped around to the other side of the bike here this is pretty much just for looks because i don't think it's going to actually catch anything <laughs> So, I'm just going to go ahead and take that off. There shouldn't really be anything in there anyways, but let's get her done. And this is the 17 millimeter. There's a spring in this guy here, too. Okay. Pull the spring out. Oof, yeah, check out the screen. All right, well, let's get this guy cleaned up. All right, I'm gonna get these guys cleaned up. Uh, normally you should use like a shop rag, uh, something lint free, <laughs> but uh, I like living my life on the edge a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this guy up with a, a lint rag. And if something bad happens, I'll just delete this video so Honda can't see. All right, everything looks pretty clean here. These O-rings look good. Um, I just put a little bit of oil on this gasket here after I sprayed it with some of that brake clean. Um, I didn't directly spray the brake clean on this rubber piece, but um, inadvertently while cleaning the screen, you know, you hit it. So I just put a little bit of oil on there, hopefully to negate some of that brake clean <laughs> and uh, put a little bit of oil on this little seal here. And I'll get these guys back in, get that spring back in, and we'll fill her up with oil. All right, so you're just going to do the opposite of what you did when you took it out. So it was in there like this. We're going to put that guy in there. Come on. There we go. Take your spring. Big part in goes first. And my hands are full of oil. I'm going to need two hands, but that's how it goes in. I'm going to get this started. All right, so uh, once you go ahead and cross thread, stinking flies again. Uh, once you go ahead and cross thread this because uh, cross threads are tight threads, right? And that's natural lock type. So uh, we got that guy in there nice and snug. Um, we're going to go ahead and put in some of that oil. Let's get this dipstick out. Get this guy in there, that will not fit. Cool. Well, let's go grab a dirty one, I guess. All right, guys, wasn't prepared for this. 
uh, now I have the world's longest funnel. And a guy should really uh, clean these out when they're done using them, but you know, that just doesn't happen. So now I gotta do that before I add the oil in here. Well, good enough. Let's go ahead and get this guy in. The guy at Honda said this will uh, take about three quarters of this quart. I just looked in the manual and it says about 800 milliliters, which is right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that in there and then I'll start the bike up, let her run for like, I don't know, 30 seconds or so, and then turn it off, let her sit for a minute or two and then check the oil and uh, we should be good to go. So I'm gonna use two hands here, so I'm not gonna be able to hold my phone and record this, but I'm gonna put the 800 milliliters in and we'll go from there. All right, so we got about 800 milliliters in there. A quart is at 946 milliliters. So I just went down from here and put it about halfway between one and 200, maybe just a little shy, but that's all right, I'll check it. So that's how I measured out the 800. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the dipstick back in and start her up. All right, let's go ahead and check this oil. I took it out, cleaned it off. Screw it back in. Take her out and focus. Right on the money, guys. Right on the money. So, that is a wrap on the first oil change on the Navi. I'll probably check the valves here eventually. Um, like I said, the guy at Honda wasn't too concerned about it, and I'll just have to figure out how to do it, because I'm not taking it in to pay somebody $200 or whatever people are saying on that Facebook group for the Navi. Um, yeah, I'm not definitely not doing that, so um obviously if you can't i mean you got to do what you got to do if you got to take it in you got to take it in but me personally i got the tools and stuff to do it so i will do it myself but i'll probably do that around a thousand miles but that is it guys appreciate the people that stuck around and watched the video if you aren't subscribed to my channel subscribe i gotta change the oil on the grom here that's at like 550 miles, so that's almost at the 600 mile oil change. But uh, yeah, that's the Navi. I got a uh, little tail bag on there and a net. And I'm going to be getting some more stuff for this thing. So uh, go ahead and uh, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.